Hey, hey Aries, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your October 2023 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right. I'm loving your combination here. Now, as I was going over your intro, I kept hearing premium financing, premium financing. So some of you, there could be some sort of payout for a premium that you are paying into. So for example, if there was a situation with your vehicle, maybe there was a fender bender or an accident, you could be getting a payout because you paid into it a premium. Same goes for some sort of life insurance or insurance in general. So premium financing could have to do with something you've paid in, but you have the clover here. So it clarifies kind of what I was getting. So I'm getting here risks and rewards. So you may have taken a chance on a situation here. I mean, I'm not a financial advisor. Please do seek financial professional advice or the disclaimer in the description box below, but I am getting here something paying off. Now, I don't know if this has to do with bonds or if it has to do with stocks. I'm not quite sure exactly what premium financing means, I'll be honest, but I do sense that there is risks and rewards that are gonna pay off in a big way. Now, you do have the clover here, Aries, this is all about hitting that lucky break, taking a, a risk on something, a chance. It's all about good fortune when it comes to your finances, but it may feel like it's risky business, right? Do I leave this job and go off on my own? Do I leave the corporate world and become an entrepreneur? Do I leave and uh, retire, right? Do I stay within this company to grow my assets or do I take a turn? So something in the recent past here may have felt a little bit risky, uh, maybe even putting money towards a situation or putting putting money towards maybe a new business idea. I am getting here contracts. So some of you could also be dealing with uh, taxes or financial loans, something of that nature, but I feel really good about this. Now for some of you, not all of you, I'm seeing here debt relief. So this could be something where maybe it was a student loan that you've had for 20 years and you find out that you were relieved of that debt. So of course, please take it as it resonates, but I am getting the clover here is about you shifting a mindset and a lot more prosperity coming in here. If you haven't seen it already, get ready because because the heart, chart, the heart card is showing up for you in the month of October. This is all about joint finances, being fully supported. Do pay attention to your spending. If there is some sort of a payout here, or it could be something that maybe you have to pay into now, but you're gonna get back later. I hope that makes sense. Uh, just pay attention because we don't wanna emotionally spend, spend um, a lot because you may have it, or it could be, again, a win or something of that nature. And sometimes you just wanna indulge a little bit. Of course, if you're able to and you have the money to, by all means, uh, trust trust your financial judgment but if you have a difficult time trusting your own financial judgment speak to a professional this is also about you having a job that you love a lot of you aries are counselors or guides if not in the professional world i feel like people ask you or look up to you for advice, business advice, financial advice, relationship advice. So you may have even been told in the past that you'd make a really wonderful guide, mentor, psychologist, coach, because I see here that it's important for you to have a job that you love and to be financially compensated as well. Now I am getting something with health insurance, so that could be the, the premium I was seeing as well, health insurance premium where you may have been holding off on a situation or holding off on a procedure, holding off on uh, dental work, something of that nat nature, but I feel like the time has come, taking care of yourself, taking care of your heart health as well. And in the near future, you have the candle card. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Okay, I'm hearing here, Balt, Balt, now I feel like it's B-A-L-T, so I mean, but it kind of veers off. So I don't know if this is Baltimore. Some of you, maybe you live in Baltimore. 
or you could, maybe your last name is Balt, or you could live in a place or a location or a street that has Balt in the name, please take that as it resonates. Okay, interesting. Maybe it means something in a different language, B-A-L-T. Now the candle card is showing up in the, the near future. So possibly November into December energy. And this is all about ambition, taking action. This is about you being in high visibility. And for those of you that are inspirational leaders, or if you are in the spotlight, I feel like your business, your reputation, your resume, it's really highlighted here. And there's a lot of movement going on around you in the coming months. You could be in a managerial role or you could be looking to step up in your business or career. And I feel like you're willing to do the work now that your heart is in something here or now that you're really taking a look at what matters the most to you, I feel like the energy shifts really quite quickly and really quite beautifully as well. I am getting a lot of wands energy, which is you anyway, fire, but I feel like this is ace of wands. There could be a new step up, a new beginning where you feel a lot more inspiration. You're inspired to move forward versus in the past. There may have been a lack of, or it just didn't feel right. But some of you may have been even a little bit burnt out or you went through some creative lulls, creative blocks. I feel like that's shifting here towards the final countdown of 2023. A lot is happening here for you, Aries, and I feel like it's happening here for the better, especially with the Clover card. I mean, some of you are, you're catching that lucky break or something unexpected happens here. I feel like there's an unexpected twist or fate coming in when it comes to your finances. Okay, we may even see the wheel of fortune. I'm getting sun energy here for you. And I'm also getting a lot of wands. So let's take a look and dive into your Celtic cross. All right, what do we have here? Starting off, there's the sun, okay, partnered with the seven of air. So that's your, that's your overall energy for the month of October is that sun card. But the seven of swords showing up as crossing that energy says you're still trying to heal with the heart here. You're still trying to heal from maybe some sort of a betrayal. Okay, ooh, there's an ace, beautiful. So we're just gonna pull all your cards out here first. So I feel like there could have been some sort of rejection, abandonment, uh, betrayal for a lot of you. This was self-preservation. And what I'm getting really, really strongly here, Aries, is allow something good to come your way. Because some of you may have been stuck in this cycle of maybe the rug getting pulled out from underneath you or just it felt like a, a negative cycle. You wouldn't get ahead. You kept wondering, when is my time going to come? When is the shift going to happen? And when it's here, we tend to second guess it. We tend to question it. Is this really for me? Right? Is this something that we can really do? Do I do I deserve this or is this coming in? Can I believe that this is uh, true? Oh, wow. Okay. Where did this come from? Well, we're going to just keep it over here in the environment position because that's where it ended up. I don't know if you guys seen that or when it came out. Here I am just talking and there's a card over there. So what I see happening here is don't second guess and don't doubt yourself. And that's what the Seven of Swords is all about. Coming out of some sort of uh, truth or denial. Okay. Whoa. All right. There we go. We got all your cards out here. Some of you can't believe that this is happening, okay? You can't believe that there is good that is coming out of maybe some things that have been a little bit challenging, okay? We're just going to get all your cards here. Thank you, Spirit. So again, your overall energy for the month of October is the sun card. The sun is all about abundance, a lot of good things coming your way. Life is good here. You have success. You have happiness. This is get, catching that lucky break. This is all about beautiful surprises that may feel unexpected. The challenge for you is to embrace it. The challenge is knowing that this is a turn for you for the better. Because the seven of swords, it can be about doing what we need to do to survive. Maybe you don't like working that nine to five job, but you're doing it to put food on the table, to take care of your kids. It's not really what you want to do, but it's what you have to do sometimes. And I feel that a lot of you, you're changing up that energy and you're saying, you're saying to yourself, you know, Aries, 
I can move in this direction. I can take steps that are going to uh, increase my finances. I am worthy of this abundance. I have what it takes to achieve this level of success. So you're kind of coming out of this period of maybe a little bit of denial or maybe you were just doing what you had to do, but I feel a lot of happy things are coming your way. So embrace them and know that you deserve them because sometimes we wait for that shoe to drop. We start saying, well, this is too good to be true, right? It's probably not true. Or we tend to say, am I really going to get that, that raise? They've been telling me that forever, right? I feel like something that is Something is illuminated to you where maybe in the past from the same company or the same person, there may have been dishonesty or distruth, but that's not showing up here again. And spirit wants you to trust that the good things that are coming in, you're really partnering up with the right people. This is about you being able to do what you love. Seven of air. So I feel like there's some twist of events here, a turn of events that's actually helping you get you on track to do what it is that you love or to be in a position that you love or to be able to trust in your own soul to move forward here. Now, I like this energy. We're gonna clarify though as well. We're gonna look at all the cards, but we will uh, clarify here. Now, what's below you? You have the Ace of Cups, new beginnings to chase those dreams. Some of you may have started some creative projects, projects that really open you up on a heart level. Some of you may have even went to school for certain things because you really loved it. You loved how it made you feel. You could have been in service to others. You loved helping people. You may be in the healing uh, industry, whether it's a, you know, a nurse, whether it's a Reiki practitioner, whether it is a psychologist, whatever it is that you do, it may not be necessarily in the healing field, but whatever it is that you do, you're good at it and uh, people appreciate you. So you, you're, you're enjoying it here, but I feel like sometimes we get caught up in life and we don't continue to love what we do, or there are certain things where we feel overworked, undervalued, we don't feel as appreciated, there's betrayal. But I feel in the, re or in the, the far off past, this is about you bringing back that, that soul quenching love for what it is that you want to be, where it is that you want to be here. Now, there's a disconnect in the recent past because we move from the Ace of Cups to the Two of Cups, portrayed as the Two of Water here. So I feel for a lot of you, there was a disconnect, whether you were let go from a company or you just realized that something wasn't what you thought it would be, right? You can see that these two goldfish are going in opposite directions. And so you are really taking a look at and examining, is this right for me? Does this still bring me happiness? Is this the direction I want to go? And if not, I feel like a lot of you, there is this chance, this risk that you must take at this time to get your soul, your heart and soul with the heart card here back in alignment, you know, re-spark that fire within, okay, with the candle card showing up here. So some of you lost hope, I see, with the Seven of Swords, but it's here anyway. It's showing up for you. And, uh, you know, we know all about the law of attra attraction, what you think about, you bring about. And even though sometimes we lose hope, spirit never loses hope on us. So you may be surprised that this is showing up because you, you didn't believe that it was going to, or you didn't believe something could be better than, uh, better than you thought because you had that same feeling in the past. I see the feeling showing up here with the cups, but it didn't turn out the way you thought in the past. So what we do as, you know, creatures of routine, uh, we are conditioned to think that that's going to happen again. And it's not. Okay, now what's coming in above you? We have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles here is about mastering your craft. Some of you, this is education, right? You could be going back to school. Some of you are teachers. There's learning happening here. Whatever it is that you do, you do it well. You do it really good. A lot of you are excellent communicators, excellent creators, excellent visionaries. Okay, oh, interesting, okay. 
uh, innovation meets collaboration. And this just came up as well in the collective reading for, go figure, Aries uh, North Node and Libra South Node collective reading. That's actually coming out or it came out over the weekends. If you haven't checked that out, and it doesn't surprise me because you're Aries. So what I'm hearing here again is innovation meets collaboration. So you are creating these changes and you are integrating new systems, new ways of being, new thought patterns patterns, new processes, and you're being creative and collaborating with the universe and uh, collaborating with other people to be your best and to do your best here and to bring in more income. The Eight of Pentacles is a beautiful, beautiful energy. It's one of my favorite earth cards and it's balanced, right? It's balanced with that eight and it also has the energy to bring in unlimited potential, unlimited income, unlimited finances. So you can see here with the eight, that is the infinity symbol. So I feel for a lot of you, whatever it is that you're taking a chance on, it's actually going to bring in a lot of success. Okay. Whatever you're working on here, this is beautiful. For those of you that have, have been second guessing yourself, don't doubt yourself here because you may, you may have started a new job in the recent months. Uh, you may have started this new job and now you're second guessing like, do I really have what it takes here? Or can I really go back to school? Is this really for me? Don't second guess. Okay. Take off the mask. Be authentic. Be vulnerable. I feel like there's something that you really can uh, grow into and love and enjoy and bring a lot of money in. Now, in the near future, you have the call. This is the judgment card. And I was picking up on this major arcana as well with that sun. Because this is an opportunity for you to head in a brand new direction. Okay, do something that maybe you've never done before. And that could be that risk or that chance. Maybe you've always wanted to write a book, but you've worked in an office. Maybe you've always wanted to be an entrepreneur, but you never thought you had the education or the, the wisdom to do so, right? There are so many what ifs that we tend to tell ourselves at times, but what if you could do it. You can do it, right? What if you start to tell yourself that you are good enough, that you have what it takes, that you are worthy, that you can tap into the portal of unlimited abundance? Because I see here with the call, ring, ring, Aries, pick up because spirit is calling you at this time to change your life for the better. Take a look at what's worked for you in the past and what hasn't. But also take a look at what has worked and upgrade it, right? Uh, that collaborative energy, the innovating energy. This is about you being able to do something that really excites you. But also, I feel like not many people have done this. Or if they have, it's not in the same way that you will be doing it. I hope that makes sense. I mean, we all are authentic in our own ways. For example, let's say... I don't know if this has ever been done, but let's say you're writing a memoir. I, I believe that in order to write a memoir, right, it has to be about your life story. But what if you decided to reinvent what a memoir was and call it uh, memoir slash, slash fiction? So I don't know if these are already books out there where uh, maybe you wouldn't be able to call it a memoir then, but, you know, spice it up a little bit by creating a little bit of fantasy into the experiences that you've had or something of that nature. So I feel like you are a trailblazer. There's something here with sharing your story or helping other people be authentic or go their own path here. But the judgment card is saying, it's time to head towards your calling in a big way. Release any judgments. Okay, if you're judging yourself, or if you're judging others, or judging even where you should be at this time, it's going to take a lot longer to get there. And it's right here showing up for you. Again, don't miss the call. And they keep giving me ring, ring. I mean, this could be a physical call that you get in the near future, and it really changes everything. Okay, it could be an email as well, because I am getting some sort of news or message with this judgment card. But the judgment is about doing life in a new way. For some of you, it's a, it's a move. You could be relocating. You could be completely 
going from one career profession to another. For others of you, you are being called to make drastic changes when it comes to your financial well-being. So I like the judgment card coming up. This is a major awakening, a second chance to live, a second chance to do what it is here that you love, to be in the limelight, for you to grow and evolve and secure that long-lasting abundance. Now, how are you feeling? There is the message or the news, but you're still feeling like something doesn't quite exist yet or you're not quite sure what the next move is for you with the page of water. This is the page of cups. Now, some of you, you really want to chase your dreams, but you don't feel like it's rational. Okay, I feel that Aries, especially as an air sign, uh, we tend to need to think logically, right? We have to pay bills. We have to do this. We have to do that. But when you can open up to your divine calling and you just put one foot in front of the other and it's you're willing to take a risk and completely surrender to the divine, the divine shows up in miraculous ways. And that's what you're being guided to do at this time. Be new. Think new. Renewal is showing up here for you with a judgment card. Allow yourself this second chance at life here or at, you know, this new career or going back to school. Some of you are getting your your degree at 50 years old. For others of you, maybe you're you're coming out of retirement and going back in and, and creating a work of art or being, being an entrepreneur. You're doing something that you've never done before. I feel like it will pay off. Page of water is about opening up to opportunities that fulfill you. And look at all this water energy. I mean, you have here in your hopes and fears, the queen of water. So a lot of emotion around uh, your financial status. Okay, financial status. Now, in your environment, you have the two of wands. It's showing up in reverse, uh, but it's, it is there nonetheless. So what it means is you have the opportunity here to leap off of that perch. You have the opportunity to say sayonara to your comfort zone. You have this opportunity. You've been planning, right? You've been planning your future and it seems like you've been planning it out since you were a child, right? Or for a long time now. And a lot of you, you've already gone in a lot of really amazing, yet challenging, yet rewarding directions. But there's some sort of dream and passion here that you have. And Spirit is saying it's okay for you to take that leap because your soul has wings, right? Two of fire is about making that decision. And I also love that it's on a giraffe here. So giraffe could be uh, prevalent for some of you. I also sense with the giraffe, this is about seeing things from a higher perspective. And the only way that you're going to be able to see it from that higher perspective if, is if you spread those wings and veer off of the perch that you've been sitting on, right? Two of wands, taking that leap, moving forward, expansion here. And there's a lot of it. So there could be a major decision in your business or your career. There could even be a proposal that comes in here for you and you may contemplate, you may decide, but ultimately listen to your heart here. Even if it's uh, a different amount of money or if it's in a different location, really listen to your heart, okay? That's, the, that's in the environment. I feel like decisions will be made, uh, it, but it seems like you need to kind of get through the seven of swords. The seven of swords here as your challenge is saying here, don't let your mind, because that air energy, right? That air energy can start to creep in have those thoughts creep in that aren't always pleasant. They can betray you. Those thoughts may start to say, Aries, you're not good enough, or Aries, you can't do that, or Aries, whatever it is, right? So don't let those betraying thoughts get in the way of your happiness. All right. Now we have here the Queen of Water as your hopes and fears. Queen of Cups, you want to be able to help other people, be of service. You want to feel emotionally fulfilled. A lot of you, again, are healers. You are very empathic and empathetic. Uh, some of you are humanitarians and you just want to, to create peace in your life, but you want to be financially stable. You want that fire energy to constantly fulfill you and uplift you. 
But I am seeing here that for some of you, there's there's a time for all of us, right? There's always a time to listen and pause and reflect. And then there's a time of go and inspiration. But sometimes during that downtime where you feel like that flame is really, really low within your energy, then that I feel like then that seven of swords comes creeping in. But whatever it is that you're doing here in the coming months, especially October, don't let any of those limiting beliefs or self-sabotaging thoughts come in because you are of service here. You are doing great work. This is important for you to feel emotionally fulfilled along the way. So take that step, even if it's a side project, a creative endeavor. I feel like there is a proposal coming towards you here where someone may want you to work with them to make some sort of a difference. It could be a project, a collaboration. Again, innovation meets collaboration showing up here. All right. And lastly here, you know what? We're going to actually wait for the final outcome and we're going to clarify a few of these cards. Let's just take a look at the Seven of Swords. What else do we need to know about the Seven of Swords for Aries in the month of October? How can we help Aries overcome some of those limiting thoughts or some of the betrayal that's happened in the past here? Some of the denial, maybe getting ourselves out of denial or self-sabotaging behaviors or other people even coming in and sabotaging your success. That could be something here as well. So sometimes uh, people don't want to see change. Now you have literally two huge, huge cards here about change. You have the Six of Swords and the Fool. Okay, I, I see what's happening here. Some of you feel like it's foolish to, to take this new beginning, and that's that seven of swords tricking you, tricking you saying, oh, but Aries, that's a foolish move. If you take that risk, you're going to lose it all. Well, here is spirit saying, if you take that risk, it's going to pay off. This is the clover on your side here, right? This is that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but you have to go through the storms, the uncertainty, this is about you having a, a fearless beginning. And I always love when this card shows up because it has the word fearless and it has the word fearful. Now, Aries, you get to decide which of the two words you want in your vocabulary. Do you want the word fearless or fearful? Now, the difference is you can be full of fear. When we're full of fear, we tend to let fear control our decisions. And that's what I see you struggle with at times. Or we can be fearless. Now you notice that it doesn't mean that there's an absence of fear. It just means that you are fearing less. You are telling fear, hey, fear, get in the back seat here. You're not driving this ship. This is about you moving forward and trusting in your heart, right? Trusting in your, with the judgment here, your purpose, your calling, even if it seems foolish at times, or even if the outside world or your parents or society or your boss or even your children or your partner, maybe they think that you're acting foolish because there's change here that is necessary in order for there to be more growth. This is about you making the decision for you, Aries, and no one else can make that for you. I absolutely see that there's a beautiful new beginning in, uh, in the mix here especially with the eight of earth, this earth energy showing up above you, it's going to ground you and you you may have to invest and maybe that's that premium. Maybe you have to invest in some sort of education here that's going to pay off. Even if it's an online course that lasts, you know, a month, it could be a couple thousand dollars. I'm getting here. Some of you may invest in some sort of a educational program Okay, such as, for example, this isn't what I'm getting from spirit, but for example, it could be like Tony Robbins has, I believe, uh, programs that you can purchase online. Now, I'm not here to sell anything to Tony Robbins, but it could be some sort of educational package like that. And it may seem like a large amount of money up front, but I feel like you're going to gain a lot from it. So again, 
don't go spending all your money if you don't, you know, if you have bills to pay, of course, and things of that nature. But I am getting that, uh, you know, with the emotional spending here. But I do sense that if there is a larger purchase that you've been contemplating, that it's going to pay off here for you. Because some people may say, oh, Aries, why are you purchasing that program? Or why are you going to go in that direction? You're not going to do anything with it anyway. That's just their fears and their projections. Right. Uh, Six of Swords says the reason this is all coming in is because there is change, whether you want it or not. I feel I mean, of course, we can push things away. We can prolong them. But because you have the judgment here, I feel like this is your wake up call. Aries, this is your wake up call. So don't don't be reluctant to this beautiful blessing and beautiful miracles and change that is coming in here for you. But sometimes those sharks threaten to bring down the ship, don't they? We get spooked. I mean, can you imagine being out in the middle of the ocean on a, you know, a floaty device and uh, seeing the sharks swimming all around? Yeah, that fear kicks in, that adrenaline kicks in. But this isn't, this isn't you in the middle of the ocean where there are sharks coming in. This is about you being able to make some decisions in your finances, in your career, in your, your life that are actually going to pay off in a really beautiful way here. All right, let's take a look and clarify. I want to clarify this sun card that's showing up in your overall energy. Now, once we, of course, once we get through some of those fears and embrace the new beginning that is here, right? Once we take that leap of faith and take that that risk, that chance, because that's what the fool does. And it's interesting that this is coming up and I'll just share it with you for a moment here. I was thinking about this earlier, how sometimes early on in life, maybe in our early 20s or so, or even our early 30s, we tend to be okay with with change, it, it tends to happen a little easier or we embrace it more. There we go. We embrace it more because I don't want to say what do we have to lose, but we don't have so much conditioning that's been layered and layered and layered where sometimes the older one gets, the more conditions and the more layers add on to that full energy and we, we wisen up, right? And we, we start to tell ourselves with our logical mind, because here's that logical mind, king of swords, we tend to tell ourselves that we have to think logically and rationally because after all, we have the experience, we've gained the wisdom, we know what we know but sometimes we need to break out of that mold okay sometimes we need to go back to that beginner's mindset and say yes I can do this I still have my whole life in front of me now yes you may not be 21 years old again you may be 67 years old and say, I really want to do this, but is it too late? No, it's not. And that's what I feel like is the overall message here for you is it's never too late. You're never too old. You haven't, you know, you haven't been too conditioned uh, to hold yourself back here. I mean, of course, there is always that free will option of not saying yes to this beginning, and you certainly could, but I feel like you'll have a lot more financial abundance if you say yes, and that's what the King of Swords reminds you, and I feel like it's it says here, ethics over emotion or emotion over ethics, and it's showing me the reversal. Now, I don't know how it came up. I read intuitively, but I am getting here. Uh, emotion over ethics is what you need at this time to to be and embrace this happiness. I hope this makes sense for you beautiful souls. All right, let's clarify whatever this disconnect or separation is. Although I think I know what this is with the two of cups, your heart's just not in it, right? Whether it's that job or you really want to embrace something that you love, but you're not quite sure how. And again, the two of cups is about important partnerships it is about you know attraction law of attraction but when it shows up in reverse here i feel like there is some sort of rejection or unrequited energy right there's just not enough to keep you in this position here of the past but let's take a look and see what else is coming in and we won't clarify each and every card but let's see what we have with the two of cups. Yeah, Hierophant. This is about uh, unconventional thinking. It's also about higher education and learning. It can be about our beliefs and our morals. And then we have it partnered with the King of Cups in reverse, or excuse me, the Knight of Cups in reverse. So both these cards in reverse clarify the two of, of Cups in reverse. 
This is saying here, unconventional thinking over traditional teaching. So something that you may have been taught, or we just talked about this, right? Uh, as we navigate and we, we mature and we age, we tend to let that traditional teaching really get us in that King of Swords. King of Swords, he's my OG. He is the original where... You know, he tends to be stuck in his ways at times. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the King of Swords. But when he is stuck on a belief, it takes him a long time. If ever, typically he doesn't change his mind unless there's something that comes in and really, really can shift that energy. Uh, and I feel for you, this is about you taking that unconventional approach and bringing it back into your life, letting that attraction flow because something was interrupted here and it interrupted you from manifesting this this career or this financial status here all right let's take a look and clarify the judgment showing up in the near future spirit please tell me about this judgment card this awakening this evaluation period what do we have for aries judgment showing up in the near future temperance oh it's a long time coming you've been waiting for this for a long time is what i'm getting here for you you've had to in a way master the art of patience and aries you can be impatient at times i mean we all can be impatient right but you've actually learned to be more you're more patient than you give yourself credit for here because some of you in the past you've made some reckless decisions with your finances Okay, maybe there were some decisions that you had to make that were forced and thrust upon you with this seven of swords. It didn't feel good. It didn't feel true uh, to you, but you had to do them. But with this temperance card, it's saying here to clarify the judgment that you've come a long way. You've heard the call. You've kind of known always what direction this was, but you knew that you had to go through some financial challenges financial struggles and lessons and ups and downs you've had to go through it to get to this this point and now that you have this here i feel like the temperance card is saying it's important of course to to blend because this is the card of blending energies it's blending that king of swords energy that we just seen the emotion the emotional side with the rational side how can we bring a little bit of both to the mix here because you have this new opportunity coming in i like this you've waited a long time for some sort of change i feel like the second half of your life here the second uh, beginning second chance you've earned it you've earned it is what i'm hearing all right let's take a look at page of cups why are you the page of cups right now because there's still something that you're questioning do i go in this direction right or how can i go in this direction how can i be fully supported doing what i love right uh, so we have here the moon by allowing things to be revealed to you you have the moon in reverse which is about illusions revealed so spirit is guiding the way this is about your intuition leading the way as well the moon is about things being exposed truths being exposed which is the challenge here for you so perhaps there's something being exposed to you in, in the company maybe you hear of a, co a company that is collaborating with a new company and there could be a lot of layoffs or there's yeah, there it is seven of swords behind it as we're talking about the challenge so the moon card the seven of swords and we have the lovers in reverse so it could even be that a lot of you may feel like you have to make a choice at this time between doing something you may not want to do and something that has been taking a long time to build okay because the the moon card is saying something's being revealed to you there's some sort of hidden deceit okay whether this is within um within oh someone that you work with oh okay for some of you Please take it as it resonates. There could have been a, a love situation or a love dynamic. Someone, you may have found rumors that someone had done something that was less than ethical. It could have been sleeping their way to the top or it could have been they stole or it could have been that they told you something that was untrue, gave gave a, um, a promotion or a job to someone else because there was favoritism here. Uh, the lover's card in reverse is showing up as 
trust issues, a little bit of disharmony and indecisiveness. So because this has happened to you, I don't feel like it's happening now, but I mean, because you have the sun card, I feel like the challenge is accepting the good, uh, the good energy that's coming in because this has happened for you in the past where you may have been looked over and you may have made, oh, some of you made a, a difficult choice or you, you've maybe even lied to yourself or maybe you've lied to someone else or you were that seven of swords here. And I feel like there is a choice that still haunts you. And that's why this is being revealed to you at times saying you have this opportunity to go it again because you've learned some valuable lessons. You've learned here how to blend these energies and now you're ready to move forward. Even if it didn't feel like that in the past, you're ready now. So this is pretty intense here, Aries. Whatever you have going on, trust that underneath it all, you have the sun in the upright position, which is beautiful energy here. But I still sense that there's a lot of, of thoughts and a lot of conditioning that we're still peeling back the layers of. All right, let's take a look here. Last but not least, let's actually take a look at the final outcome. Okay, what's the final outcome here? We have the five of fire followed by the eight of fire. So wands energy, a lot of wands, which is good because I was feeling that here in the beginning of your reading. So you have two of wands, you have five of wands and eight. So you're skipping some steps here, but you've already done those steps in the past. So five of wands is about coming together. It's that collaborative energy. So this is literally innovation meets collaboration. It's what we said here in the beginning. So I feel like you are making some quick choices to fly off that perch, right? To be able to step outside that comfort zone. There could be some quick news coming your way. There could be a beautiful opportunity here where someone wants to work with you or you get a chunk of change back or a big chunk of money with this lucky break. I feel like if you've been in a struggle, because the five of wands, it's, it's a lot better than the five of swords. It's, it's about needing to work together instead of feeling like there's lack of leadership or it just feels like overly competitive. I feel for you that's shifting quickly where you're getting out of that five of wands energy and you're moving directly to that eight where there's some sort of movement, speed, travel, relocation, something happening quite quickly. There you are. Beautiful. King of wands is to clarify your outcome. And this is uh, wands energy. This is you, Sagittarian, Leo, and of course you, Aries. So let's take a look. It says dependably goal oriented. Now I really like the illustration of this King of Wands because he's wearing his superhero cape. He's in need of a hero, so that's who he becomes. He makes his own choices. Uh, but you have a, a choice here, and it's it always reminds me of um, like Superman. You know, is that the Lois Lewis and Clark? Uh, where he, you know, he kind of hid himself during the day because he didn't want people to know who he really was because they might treat him differently. Or he had to, he had to be that person to live in the everyday life, right? But then when it came to doing what he really, really loved, he put on that cape and he was of service of the world. And I feel, well, some of you, you're not, you're not Superman, maybe Superwoman, Superman, but I do feel here for you. This is about you taking your goals to the next level and it's going to pay off in a really beautiful way so so take that risk here aries you won't regret it all right let's take a look and get a message from the wisdom of the oracle what do we have here this is a really i love this reading for you if this is making sense and you guys are liking this please feel free to hit that thumbs up button Treasure Island. See, you can't make this up. Treasure Island is like the sun card. It's card nine. Also, nine is all about completions. It's about service. It's about accomplishment. It's the Treasure Island is probably one of the best cards in the entire deck, just like the sun. See, I'm not making this up here. You're definitely moving forward in a more abundant energy. The law of attraction, bringing dreams into fruition, the results of positive thinking made manifest, abundance appearing as if from nowhere, financial gains and the sharing of good fortune. All right, you've worked hard and acted upon your unwavering belief in abundance and suddenly in the midst of it all, you hit the jackpot. Hello, Clover, right? You hit the jackpot. You've uncovered the map to buried treasure and tap the unlimited potential. There's that eight energy, right? You have it right here with that eight. 
You've, uh, you've uncovered the map to buried treasure and tapped the unlimited potential within you. What you, most, what you must hone now is your ability to recognize Aries when X marks the spot because some of these golden opportunities may be obvious but others may not be so readily apparent. And that's why you have the seven of air showing up as the mass because some of these things may be disguised. Some of these things may not be apparent to our logical mind, right? Trust your intuition to light your way now as you enter this truly prosperous phase where all the long, hard work navigating your inner life is now paying off externally in all aspects of your life at this time. You have good fortune. Don't forget to enjoy it and share it with others as treasure shared multiplies like magic. Beautiful energy here. And at this time, you can be confident that success is yours. Your ideas are all hitting the mark and you are in a true manifestation period. Yeah, the sun is full on manifestation. So you're definitely in that period. You're in that phase. You will see the evidence of the seeds of prosperity you've planted in the past, right? Because you have here this turning point, the second chance coming in with this judgment card. The appearance of this card in a reading indicates that your dreams and aspirations align with concrete signs of prosperity in the physical world. Creative projects will flourish as inspiration strikes. And we, I think we said those exact words in the beginning of your reading. Share your wealth with others. Generously, uh, generosity and gratitude should lead you at this time. And I feel like you are, you are being generous. You have the page of cups. You have a beautiful heart here. Even if you've had to uh, restrict yourself at times, or even if you've had to do what you've needed to do, or you've made poor choices in the bat in the past, we've all made poor choices, but the blessing is we're able to learn from them. All right, let's get a few messages from your spirit animals. At this time, Aries, I just ask if you can, please take a nice deep breath from your solar plexus chakra, the belly area. And with your eyes closed, I want you to imagine the first animal that shows up in your mind's eye. Now this could be an animal that flies high in the sky. Perhaps it's an animal that swims deep in the sea. Perhaps your animal is wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. Perhaps your animal has crossed your path in the great outdoors visited through your dreams, or even crossed over the rainbow bridge. There is no right or wrong answer, Aries. And if you see more than one animal, that is absolutely okay. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you are ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do is drop your power animals in the comment section box below the video and I personally will enter you into the free reading giveaway where I draw one lucky winner around the first of each month and post right back here on the channel. So please make sure you've hit that subscribe and bell button if you haven't already. All right, Aries, you can't make this up. The synchronicities in your reading here are phenomenal. And the first card that literally hopped out, if you didn't see it, you may want to rewind the video because it literally hopped out, was the grasshopper. And it says, take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith. Take that chance, right? Open up with that full energy. It's okay to take a risk on a situation. It's okay to embrace the unknown. Go on this wild new adventure. You may just surprise yourself. So grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith. Some of you may be born on the 30th, the 5th, or the 8th. You could have a life path or be in a personal year of 3, 5, or 8. You may be 46 or 50 years old. Next, you have bat spirit. A rebirth is assured. This is all about rebirth, especially with the judgment card here, the call, right? You are being given the second chance, this rebirth to rise up. And one of my favorite sayings, the, the comeback is stronger than the setback. So you're definitely coming back in a big, powerful, bold way. And remember, you have wings.
Okay, you have wings. You have bobcat spirit. It says life is a mystery. This is all about embracing the mystery, embracing the unknown. Okay, having the strength to do so. Because eight is that strength energy. And this is about endurance and power. You're stronger than you think you are. Don't sabotage. Don't let the shadow sides get the best of you when it comes to you taking this leap of faith. You have Peacock, let it shine, let it shine. And it's right from that heart chakra. It's a big, beautiful, bold blue and green. So this is about you expressing and speaking. It's that heart energy that we see showing up here as well. So let it all shine. Show the world what you're truly made of. And lastly, you have Rhino, my personal favorite. It's about overcoming any obstacles. So any obstacles, card five, which fives can represent obstacles, you will overcome. So if it's felt like a struggle, if it's felt like a challenge, for some of you, it's felt like a lifetime of struggle and challenges, know that this too shall pass and you will overcome those financial setbacks and struggles. And I feel it's sooner here rather than later. Although some of you are saying, Melissa, it's been later for years. Well, get ready here because it's it's big now last but not least let's get a crystal gemstone mineral or fossil that you can embrace the energy of in the month of october to help you on your most abundant path what do we have here please for aries orange calcite card 40 orange calcite beautiful energy here okay orange calcite connects with that sacral chakra about two inches below your navel. This is your creative center as well. And this is all about pleasure, creativity, birthing something new. It's about sensuality and sexuality. Now, some of you may have had some struggles in the sacral chakra region, whether it's been, you know, again, two inches below the navel, navel and that can affect the back region as well. So maybe not feeling that support. Maybe some of you have had physical dis-ease or uh, disease, right? Physical manifestations in that area show up this may help you heal some of that on an energetic level you are an artist in your own life and your canvas is before you what will you make with the time and money available to you today your power to think outside of the box and put old patterns behind you is very strong for orange calcite spirit magnifies your creative abilities imagine how you might think differently about money or how you might attract with your finances in new ways that are more beneficial to you do you need to learn to delegate work to others or pay someone else to do the tasks that keep you from your true calling? Orange Calcite Spirit says that now is the time to be creative in how you translate all that is given to you into a life of meaning and purpose. Spend differently and reconsider how you use your time. Your creative approach to developing prosperity will serve you now. So a tidbit here about Orange Calcite. Orange calcite is a fire stone. Who else is a fire sign? You are, Aries. And this stone fuels the second sacral and even the third, the solar plexus. Unlike many fire stones, it has a gently stimulating rather than an overwhelming energy. It is excellent for overcoming shyness as well as depression. When you meditate with orange calcite, if you need that extra oomph of courage. For those of you that struggle with the seven of swords, or maybe some of you are saying, oh, Melissa, I'm pretty good with my mind. I feel good about betrayal. If this isn't a huge thing for you, it could be just opening up to the possibilities that sometimes are hard to see, right? For others of you that it's a little bit deeper, you can utilize the energy of orange calcite. It doesn't mean you have to go out and buy the crystal unless you feel compelled to. But you can meditate and work with your sacral chakra, the second chakra, and the third, which is the solar plexus, your belly region as well. Because this can really help you have more courage to step outside of that comfort zone and for you to embrace that beautiful new life ahead here for you. Thank you so much for being here, Aries. I hope it resonates. A very powerful reading. I'm loving all the synchronicities. If you guys like this, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. And it certainly helps the channel grow. 
I would love to see those power animals in the comment section box below. And again, if you're vibing with the energy here and you haven't already hit that subscribe and bell button, please do so. Thank you so very much, Aries, for being here. Lots of love.